Luko Kelderman trying to stay with Rafa Micah. So Tadej Pogacar must be feeling very strong here on the early slopes, having his teammate come to the front and extend that. Blow away the teammates of Jonas Vingago a long ways from the top. So goodbye to Wilco Kelderman and Wout Van Aert. It'll be down to set coups for the rest of the climb. Well, Wout's done his best. He's got his man where he wanted to deliver him right to the base of the Jupland. So too must be said of Kelderman. He's coming back on the left. But now it is the boys in white who are trying to throw it back at the boys in yellow and black. And Seb Kuss moves up into second place. The Mayo Jean is right on his wheel. Still there, Adam Yates for Tadej Pogacar. Carlos Rodriguez riding well for Ineos. This is the damage at the back. Kelderman been dropped. And also David Gadu, the French star, in ninth to start the day in trouble, getting distance from the brute. So... Now we're going, the teammates have slowly been lost here from Yombo Risa. They've done exactly the job they were supposed to do. They've left it exactly the place they were supposed to leave it. But the odds are still in favor now of UAE. They've got three riders down there, including the white jersey of Pogaccia. Jai Henley hanging tough. He's number 71 on the wheel of Adam Yates. Carlos Rodriguez is there. Tari Pogaccia just following the wheel of Jonas Vingigo. Let's see how long Sepkus can stay on the wheel of Micah and maybe do some tempo with his own. He's going to be needed more than ever now. Oh, Sepp Simon Kuss. Yates in trouble also, Phil, it looks like. Yes, the turquoise helmet of Yates bobbing at the back here. He did well to get back, but we didn't really expect him to hang on to any pressure here. Micah, two times a winner of the King of the Mountains. And now in the service of the white jersey of Pogaccia. Felix Gall having a great day. He is number... 85 from the Groupama squad, right in there with the best riders in professional cycling. Rafael Micah setting the tempo, dropped Kelderman. He's in the back. This is Wout Van Aert trying to get back on terms. Impressive riding, but Godou in big trouble. Godou just passed briefly under our camera there, the blue jersey. The French favorite has dropped back there, and his best place was ninth overall this morning. He's going to lose that position tonight, I think. Simon Yates pacing himself, trying to get back to the front group. Pale Bilbao is there. He's the last rider in that line as Rafael Micah makes the tempo in the early slopes, the steeper gradients, about halfway through this climb. Five k's from the top. It goes over 9% for the rest of the way to the top of the Juplan. 1 and 11, first and second in the Tour de France last year. These two riders have never finished worse than second in the Tour de France. They've either won it or they finished second. Ringo, this is the overalls it started this morning. A nine-second gap up to Pogaccia. And eight seconds now. Wout Van Aert has struggled back to the shoulder of his yellow jersey. This man is an extraordinary athlete. Very steep at the bottom. He paced himself there. It is more gradual now for the next two or three Ks before the last half kicked straight up. So Wout Van Aert, what an impressive teammate. He did this in the Pyrenees and doing it again in the Alps. Well, that's a little bit of a shock for Rafael Micah there because they thought they'd blown Wout out for the day, but this rider never gives up. Absolutely brilliant the way he rides in support of Vingago. Gives him a new morale when they see him do something like that. He's happy to take up the pacing. When he does go, we'll know he will slow down to two miles an hour.